Okay, hello everybody, and in today's video, I will show you how to install and find your perfect scene for a Minecraft world. So the program I'm going to show you how to use is Cubic Biomes, if that is the name. <laughs> and um, I use this program to find a very good seed for my single player world or my server that I'm running. So it is a very good program and it is the only one that I found that still works today and is updated. So I hope you enjoy this and let's begin. So the program that uh, we are going to install is Cube Cube Biomes Viewer. Um, it is made by Cubitech, and as you can see, this is how it will look when you have the program installed. Um, how the seed map will look like, and it is quite good. So where you want to go to is Cube Biomes Viewer. You will click on the releases section then you will choose your type of system if you want it for linux there is it and for windows it is here then you will download that and then when it is done downloading you will click on this and then it will open the file then you will click on exe then extract all and then you can close the other window and then you will just click on Cubimes viewer and then this isn't really a problem because um the executable isn't just isn't signed by microsoft itself so this is just a warning to say that the executable isn't signed by microsoft itself um they didn't pay microsoft to say this program is safe so you can just click on more info and then run anyway okay then when you launch the program for the first time you will be greeted by this screen I change my view to 3d because um, I think it looks a little bit better it is by default on biome scale like this but you can also change it to approximate surface height and choose shaded biome map otherwise it will be on grayscale okay so then what you can then do is add a condition the conditions or criteria is what you want in a specific range around you from world origin or any other coordinate that you have chosen okay and you will see that here is the start search clear results and what type of seed range you would want to choose you can also import custom seed lists and for example you have a file with about a thousand or more seeds inside it and then you want to find in what of that seeds has the most villages or something like that in the world at certain coordinates something like that okay okay so how this program then works is you give the program certain conditions that a minecraft world should comply to then you will ask the program i want a village let's say structures i want a village within a certain distance from world spawn or a coordinate that you have chosen so let's say within a radial distance of zero so it will it means the bounding box of the village will must be at zero zero so you'll then say okay you can also filter what stuff of a village must be at zero zero and you can also choose abandoned villages 
okay so then we will say okay and then the game will search through all of the minecraft worlds and then list all the worlds or seeds that have a village at zero zero so see oh um, i must change that from this to this okay then as you can see it is it is going through all of the minecraft worlds that have a village at zero zero you can also change the maximum amount of results but to have six thousand or more seeds with a village at zero zero i don't think you need to expand the range that is that it can go through okay so as you can see now a village is at zero zero or around zero zero and that is quite cool so yes you can see all of the villages is at zero zero and that is quite cool okay if you want to find something you must f do it step for step so i want to f have a village on a me in the meadow so i will choose biomes biome samples and then choose a meadow it must be a meadow then okay then make sure it works yes board search then you'll see world spawn is on a meadow okay clear the results then you want to add a structure i want to have a village in a meadow okay i'll choose a structure then a village and then within a radial distance of the bottom samples and then about 10 blocks okay then you got start or let's let's change that to um world origin then choose start okay abort search then there will be a village on a meadow let's check and see if that is working okay then we will create a single player world create a new world then paste the seed into the seed for world generator generator section and then create a new world and then it should be a village at world spawn in a meadow biome and it is it's quite cool so we are in a meadow and the village is on the meadow and is working it's quite cool okay so let's say we would want to do it a little bit more advanced um then you would go and change some settings um let's say we would want to remove everything just remove all and we want the terrain to be very um dramatic on um, the distance between the floor and the top so let's say we want a very high mountains first thing we want would want to do is select the category um other and then surface height then you would choose outside range and move this slider to minus 64 and move this slider to about 200 okay then you would press ok and clear the results add and let's say we would want a jungle biome to generate around this um mountains so the first thing is you would choose biome samples and then exclude all it is very important to exclude all then ba bamboo jungle sparse jungle and then a jungle and then choose tiny peaks i really like the tiny peaks um okay then you would choose the 
distance these poems will need to generate and nothing else. So I would like to have it in a distance of about 250. Okay, so if you select the poem samples, then you will see in the circle everything should be a jungle, um, a sparse jungle and a bamboo jungle with stony peaks. Okay, let's start the search. It usually takes a while to find seeds on the more demanding, in a sense, stuff you add to it because there is only a limited amount of seeds. And the more criteria you give it to um, the program to find, the harder it will be to find a seed that matches that conditions. So in the end, you will have only a limited amount of seeds that can have a bamboo jungle with stony peaks and the rest at zero zero or the coordinates that you have chosen. Okay, so it looks like we have six seeds so far. And as you can see, yes, they mostly meet the conditions that we have given to them but if you want to make sure this there is only that types of biomes inside that area you would choose to edit and change the required coverage to about 100 percent but it will it would be then very difficult to find the C that you want okay so as you can see I have a few biomes that meets this so far. That's cool. Okay, let's choose the copy selected seed. And then single player, create a new world. And paste the seed in. And then you should be able to see that the, the seed matches this. Okay, let's move up and if we move this side, we should be able to see a jungle, yes, a sparse jungle, and let's teleport up. Okay, and as you can see now, but um, as you can see, it matches the terrain, there is the mountain, there is another mountain, and there is another mountain, and it's quite cool, the terrain is, is looking very good, um, let's see. So with this um, program you can search for the seeds that you really like, there is a village, it's looking quite good. Oh, jungle temple wow okay but as you can see this from 94 to um yes to the top of the height limit i think let's see i think it that this this is at the height limit that the rain can generate um alpha okay it's quite a but um yes as you can see it's very cool. And with this ARM program you can search for a lot more than this. But remember how the more um criteria you add to this, the limit the more um the longer the program will need to search because you are limiting um the available seeds that had that meets these conditions. Okay, that's quite cool. Okay, so I really hope you guys had enjoyed this video. Um, I really hope this program helps you to find your perfect C that you have always hoped for. So um, I really hope you enjoy this video. And if you want, and if this video had helped you and learned you something new, it would be nice if you could, get, could subscribe to my channel because it always helps out and to bring this channel to more people I always try to make unique content um, to find something new every time and not repeat 
every video and okay so I will also show you a few worlds that I really think is very good so one of the worlds is this one um, that I found in this video and here is the seed that this and the seed is this and that you really have learned something new today so bye